Hey, what's going on YouTube? Back at it again. Okay, it's been a while. It's It's been a few years. It is finally time to do my EDC entire vehicle tour. I know I've owed you guys this for quite a while. So this is my 2023 EDC vehicle tour. Let's get it. Now, the thing about the EDC vehicle tour is I've already kind of started breaking this down slowly, but surely I've already done my emergency kit. I've already done my truck tool kit. I'll make sure I link those down below. Now we're gonna talk about the entire vehicle itself and how I build mine out. My, my vehicle is built in a primary, secondary, tertiary type of setup. Primary means everything for the most part I can reach with my hands basically without unbuckling my seat belt. That's the primary items. Secondary items are usually within the back seat, so I can unbuckle, I can get to them in less than 30 seconds. They're usually pretty accessible. Tertiary are those items that are very rarely touched, but they need to be in my vehicle. They can get removed if we need to you know, move something big, but for the most part, they're part of the tertiary system. So you might wanna think about doing the same type of thing. Even if you drive a sedan, a Kia Rio, a big truck or something like mine you might have the same type of system so you know exactly where everything is in your vehicle at all times first let's talk about my actual vehicle itself i drive a 2015 gmc sierra 1500 this is lifted with a rough country lift on it 20 inch wheels 35 inch tires these are falcon at tires now this is important that we talk about how do i actually get around on my vehicle it's an all-terrain addition i've had this thing for years now completely paid off so i'm probably not going to be getting rid of it anytime soon i'm a big fan of my truck i tend to try to keep it exactly how i want it to be at all times so the first thing we got to talk about is the primary section everything that could be touched while my seat belt is still on that's the glove box, the arm rest, the, you know, anything that's near my legs, stuff on the floorboard. So I can basically get to everything except for things that are in the passenger seat on the floor. Let's check it out, man. Let's get in here. First thing we got to talk about is I like to keep my door super simple. So normally only thing I keep in the door are literally a pair of Google Pixel Buzz. These are from 2021. These things still work great. I know that, um, They've since updated these and I have the updated versions. I use these for grocery stores. If we're sitting around at a park, we're going to some type of game, wherever, somewhere where I might be bored or if I just want to be able to listen to talk radio or music, boom, pull those things out. I'm still rocking the rugged ridge floor mats. Those things are still working out really good. I've had them for three years now. Maybe I'll replace them sooner than later, but they just seem to be just not wearing out, working just fine. Uh, so only thing I want to point out here, this is the button for my train horn. This is what I use here uh, Just in case I need to get someone to kind of get out my way gently In here that same train system has an air compressor This dumps all the air out of that just in case I need to do some type of maintenance I could dump all of that out of there. This is a carrier for one of my boom sticks All right working our way from top to bottom. We are rocking a 1080p webcam not the best webcam in the world but one thing I like about it is it's wired into my truck. So this wire goes directly to my radio. I have it unhooked right now, but I like it because it records the cabin and it records the street. Just a little bit of evidence if I ever get into an accident or something like that. Still from the last tour, we still have this pencil holder. I've down, you know, I've definitely reduced the amount of items inside of it, but just one blue pen, one black pen, a pencil. Use this stuff all the time, writing checks, sketching stuff, giving my kids something to do in the back of the vehicle. I give them some field notes and they can just, you know, draw into their heart's content and stay off of my nerves. Here we also have a flashlight in replacement of my oh shit handle. This is the Coast XP18R flashlight. This is a fantastic idea to get rid of the oh shit handle in your truck or your vehicle because it's not really used for anything but getting yourself in and out of your vehicle replace it with some quick fists and a flashlight now you have a very powerful flashlight that you can use um if you get in an accident you need to look at someone's bumper or you need to illuminate a, a very dangerous scene you just take those things right out of your vehicle and you're good to go so they're not it's not very hard to do it's a very easy diy 
if you need more advice on that, just let me know. I can definitely give you some pointers. All right, now we are at the center console of my vehicle. I like to keep this area relatively clean as possible. So the very over here, I do, you know, guys, I smoke sticks. If I go somewhere, I don't smoke in my truck. I absolutely would never want that smell in my truck. But if I go somewhere and we're sitting down enjoying ourselves, I can always stop, grab a stick from a local retailer, and I have the supplies in here to light that stick. Keep some actual burnt bees in here for the good old lips. We do have some field notes in here, mostly used by the kiddos. If they're uh, along with those writing utensils I just showed you a second ago, so they can doodle. I don't really use those, or I use them to write a note. The other day, a lady left her uh, the rear um, door of her vehicle open. I close it, but I left a note to let you know, like, hey, so just in case someone saw me closing your vehicle, here's my information. I'll cut it too, so I'll do knife tests with this thing to see if a knife is still sharp enough. Then we do have the Scribe by CRKT, one of my favorite little pocket knives that I use. This thing here is a D2 steel, but it's nice to just be able to have a quick knife to grab, even though I normally have a knife on my, on my, um, you know, on my hip, but I can use this, grab this. It's only like 25 bucks. If it grows legs, then who really cares? Next is a Marine X EDC storage box. Uh, check out themarinex.com and you can grab yourself one of these as well. I really like to keep extra REs in here. Shout out to Quack for sending me out his uh, RE. But if I'm going somewhere, if I wanna deck out a pouch or a bag or whatever, I like to keep these here just in case I wanna you know, have a little bit more swag. I don't do pocket art and pocket trash, but to be able to have a bunch of REs at the ready, I like that. You can also, I keep another one of these nearby that I use to keep a little uh, thumbsticks in, the USB drives and all that good stuff. So. Marine X USB drive, check that out. Um, link is in the description down below. Below this is a hidden compartment. I just keep a little bit of Sauvage cologne and just in case, um, you know, I need to reapply some of that during the day. I got that and it's good to go. And that's pretty it. I pre pretty much keep that clean. Now, same thing here underneath this area is another hidden compartment. And in this hidden compartment, I just keep my some bathing cloths. I do have kids and if they get crazy enough, do anything crazy enough, then we have to clean them down, wipe them down. And then if I ever apply my on a longer road trip, I will put my vehicle, my phone in the car windshield. And this is what this is for that holds my phone to the car windshield. But I don't like the way that looks up there at all times. So I keep it hidden. So normally when everything is here, this fits just like this. And on top of my field notes goes my phone and I plug my phone up to the, the vehicle. And this is how normally I'm riding. So very, very seamless streamlined type of look up here. I keep window markers. So if I ever have to use my get home bag, evac my vehicle or anything like that, I would write on my window which direction I went in if I shot an azimuth you know, whatever the case may be. And I'll take an extra one with me just in case one dries out. I can use this to mark windows on vehicles along the way. And there's also some hot hands. We're in the win we're in the summer right now, but when we enter the fall, these are nice to be able to hand your kiddos. If we're forcing them to be in an environment where it might be cold outside, grab these, stick them in your pocket. Moving on to the armrest of my vehicle. I've been working on this thing for quite a while. Got this thing decked out basically how I want it. This will be forever a junk area. We'll just address this first. This is just extra cords, extra microfiber cloths, you know, charging things. So if I need to charge extra devices, this will never be completely clean. It would just always be extra random stuff in dad mode. I think that's just something I have to kind of get over. Starting with the lid, shout out to Built Right Industries. We have Built Right Industries throughout the truck itself. One of the things here that I like a lot is their tech organizer. This tech organizer is pretty easy to install. I think I do a separate video on how to install this thing. You basically take your armrest apart and drill a couple of holes. But this thing does come in handy pretty nicely whenever you need it. I have on it my Nutsack admin pouch. And next to that is a Leatherman Raptor tool, which is used for evac or escape. And it's on here nice and secure. You can pull this out. It has a glass breaker. It's scissors if I need to cut someone shirt or jeans to apply some type of uh, sunken chest wound or to address that i have this right next to it on the front of this i have a more premium pen and bastion uh, gel pen i like this thing a lot and we do have a benchmade bug out this is the 
the combo edge edition i normally always have a knife on me but that rare instance i forget my pocket knife which has happened i won't go without a pocket knife so if that means i need to keep a knife in the truck i do that just to make sure that i always have a knife on me then we also have a little inspection light this is a uh, coast g23 so it has an inspection light on one side a regular flashlight at the very bottom a, a pin type light so it fits pretty easily and i think it just rocks a double a so um, it usually keeps a charge pretty long time inside of this thing we keep a battery bank now this battery bank is important for if we're going out and about we want to walk out and take this with me takes one of these gaggle of cords with me and we can charge our iphones ipads regular android phones anything with this thing next to that is a big lighter i don't like using big lighters to light cigars but we can use this for fire starting for lighting candles at birthday parties yes i've had to do that skeletal next to that with uh, the leatherman bit set super hard to get your hands on the leatherman bit set if you can find that and you're interested make sure you snatch it up as quickly as possible underneath that we do have a another aftermarket tray that i purchased from amazon now this tray and this tray do not come in this vehicle organically i had to buy those on amazon i'll link up anything down below just in case you guys are interested in picking anything up for your vehicles i keep a data crew what a junior in here if i want to actually kit this thing out with some items i have it at the ready so i'll need to throw some cards in here if we're going somewhere where my wife can't take her her big bulky purse what we'll normally do is take any critical items out of her purse Put them in this water junior and she can take this inside of that venue instead which makes life so much easier than trying to stick everything in my pockets which i absolutely am not a big fan of next to that is a grooming kit this grooming kit is mostly used if my kids are you know cut their fingernails cut mine you know there's a lot of times when you're sitting around and you're bored and you're just like, screw it, I'm gonna sit on the bed of my truck and I'm gonna groom my nails. Above that is a pair of tweezers, splinters or anything like that. That that kit that I just put out does have tweezers in it, but they are very, very bad. So this is a better pair of tweezers. If we go to a park or something, I have kids complain of freaking splinters. Instead of waiting till we get home or having to listen to them boo-hoo cry, we can take care of it immediately. So this is a matador, this is a two-person blanket. Basically what this thing is, is a, you know if you're at a park or something like that everybody wants to have a seat and they don't want to sit on a wet ground pull this thing out it seats up to two adults comfortably all right so underneath that we do have a solar charger so we talked about that charger a second ago this is a 28 watt charger which is very powerful this is a solar charger it folds out into three basically i take this onto the beach with me i like to take this out more than um that charger that I showed you in the nutsack admin pouch because this thing will continue to recharge itself while you're using it underneath that is an ouchie boo boo kit this is an upgraded kit from the 2021 version this is by VanQuest band-aids guys all that type of stuff not really any trauma items in here but alcohol prep pads Tylenol aspirin anything like that is in here so the survival handbook goes in coordination with my bug out system. If we are bugging out with my family bug out bag, just gives me tips and tricks. This is the big version I keep with me. I've read this thing before. I can flip to something quickly and reference anything I might need to. Kleenex, because you never know. Actual quick spray to spray um, throughout the vehicle as well. So we're in the secondary part of the actual vehicle secondary meaning that i can get to the items but not while my seat belt is engaged so first part everything i showed you up there i can get while my seat belt is on i can't get to any of this stuff while my seat belt is on but i do have kind of a, a a laplander saw but this isn't the real laplander this is a big boy i use this thing very rarely but when i do use it it comes in handy recently was at my mother's-in-law's house and i had to take care of a branch over a bounce house pulled this thing out along with my axe was able to knock that out but you would really use this for tree limbs that are less than about three inches maybe it's on the front of the road if you can use it for something bigger but if you needed to make some type of fire tender or whatever just nice to have this extra if you have the room why not have it with you sun visor for the front of the truck because you know it's sexist this is just my small kind of like emergency kit that i keep this is a survival kit that's in a 50 uh, a 50 ammo can and the thing about this thing is we'll talk about this separately here in a second. We actually keep an actual funnel just in case I need to do some work underneath my vehicle, fill something up, want to actually be able to use that. Radiator needs more water, need to put, top off some oil transmission fluid, 
whatever. We keep both of those items underneath here, which makes life easier. So the survival kit is here. Every vehicle, in my opinion, needs one of these, a vehicle trash can. Cannot tell you how often kids throw stuff in here. You'll throw stuff in here. It keeps your vehicle cleaner than without it. So you still, vehicles still get dirty, but not as bad without having that there. But I keep all my extra gear that I might need more often than not underneath here. So first off we got here is we do have a tarp. This is by Red Camp. Now I like tarps for several reasons. You don't want to sit on a wet ground, a muddy ground. You can use this if you're in an emergency situation, wind breaks, survival stuff, all that good stuff, a tarp. Now, if you ever go to a, a, a shopping mall or if you go to some type of hotel or whatever, this is a 30 liter duffel bag. If you go somewhere and you pack too light, you go shopping, you didn't realize you were gonna buy so much stuff, unpack this thing, you can throw all sorts of crap inside. I like that a lot. This is a uh, emergency stove. You put this thing together and you can use this for cooking. 550 cord, I talk about this stuff all the time. I keep it everywhere. And 550 cord, keep it brand new, keep it used. I have it all over the place. You never know what you can use this for. A big bucket. Now, you can use a bucket if you need to gather water. If you need to gather water for your vehicle, imagine your radiator, your radiator is overheating, you're closest to a creek or something like that, you can gather this along with that funnel, use that. Or if in a survival situation, you have a bucket whatever or if you have a dog or whatever you have just a different ways to gather water it's collapsible which makes life easier and also under here i do keep a safe you can use a safe for several things if you ccw and you go to a place where you're not allowed to take your boomstick inside i do have a safe which is tied into the frame of my truck now a thief is going to be a thief but this is more of a deterrent it takes a lot longer to take this apart and to get my actual boomstick out of here or you can put passports in here, a wallet or jewelry or whatever, and it's just attached to the frame of my vehicle, makes life easier. All right, so earlier we talked about this ammo can for 50 cal, and this is one of my survival kits. This is in the secondary section of my truck. I wanted to give you a, a better breakdown of this thing. This thing is usually pretty jam packed. So let's just go over what I keep inside of it. And maybe you might want to decide to do the same thing. So first off, we do have some gloves that uh, they're by Pro Eagle, same company I got my jack from and they're windproof. So if I'm changing a tire, doing something on the side of the road, I can put these on and not have to worry about my phalanges being you know torn up by the wind uh, so i do have a sour this is a water filtration system this is the type of system that you bring the water source you know you can grab the water source from a creek or a side of a building and then you can drink this on the go so i have several of these things they're in my family bug out kit my get home bags etc etc this is another way to gather some water for that same exact kit i can gather some water or if i find clean water you know this is 48 ounces of water very very slim bag but plenty of um basically plenty of extra room i have a, an emergency candle this is a i think this is a hundred and yeah 115 hour candle 115 hours that's over four days worth of burn time on this thing safe enough to use in the cabin of my truck so that way we have a little bit of warmth so more fire starting stuff this is like i say my first line of defense when it comes to survival stuff this goes along with my bug out bag for my family we talked about that before these are insta fires these light uh, these things help light like um light wet wood so if you if you're in a, a predicament where you're gathering kindling you're gathering tinder and wood and that stuff is wet you can't get it light it this is going to help you get that started and this is uh this lights up to four fires you probably can get more out of it than that but i like to just have those so this is a poncho and it's a poncho that's more shaped like a tarp and so obviously you can use it as a poncho you can use it as a windbreak but i like to just have the ability to quickly grab this if we're at a sports event and i want to keep you know maybe get give this to the wife give this to the kiddo they have a poncho to keep themselves dry. And in the survival situations or if I'm changing a tire, it's just, you never know how many times you can use a poncho. It's nice to have one, super small, doesn't take up a lot of room. Luminate, same exact concept. 
you basically take this thing, you blow it up here in the back. It's the only difference. Then it's, it's, uh, uh, it can float. You can also um, put this in the sun and get a charge or you can charge it with micro USB, the only thing I don't like about it. Then that, this is a uh, Matador travel towel. Great for if I'm changing a tire, if I get into a situation where I get wet, my kids are in a soccer game, or there's some type of situation where you're outdoors, you get wet. You can quickly take this towel out, dry yourself off. You can hang it up from a tree or something like that, and it will dry in the wind. And uh, I like these things. Those, they're very reasonably priced and they come in handy more often than you can think. So we also have a, uh, a signal mirror. This signal mirror here is pretty good because you know you can put this stand facing the sun or some other type of light. You put your eye through the actual little peephole and you can try to uh, flash this on somebody for the horizon. So nice to have this for signaling purposes. You can also use this for fire starting. A, a tiny survival guide that kind of goes with that larger survival guide that's in the armrest of my truck. But this is mainly so I can hand this to the wife or keep this in my back left pocket. Headlamp, I want to keep a headlamp at the ready. If I am doing some type of emergency work underneath my vehicle, whether that's under the hood or if I'm doing a tire change or something like that, I want the ability to be working hands-free without a light source. And I want a dependable light. That is why I am going with the Columbia light and I like this because it does have, I think this thing uses, yeah, AAA battery. So even if I haven't charged, uh, charged this in a while because I'm using rechargeables, I can always throw some fresh AAAs in there and I know it's gonna work. I don't need it to be the brightest light ever because it's really to be maintenance on a vehicle or something like that. This is a blower for that fire that you're gonna get started. You don't wanna put your face, especially I have dreadlocks, you don't wanna put, put your face too close to the actual fresh fire that you just started. So why not actually use a blower for your fire? This is a lensmatic compass. The thing about this compass that I like is that you can shoot an azimuth with this thing. You can get it up on your actual cheek and get it up higher at the proper level and shoot a proper azimuth and, and use this for land nav if you know how. It's better than a basic button compass, very functional. And if you have a map with you, which I do, I have a map of the city with me at all times then I know that I'm gonna be able to use a lensmatic compass or engineering compass, whatever you wanna call it. Small cups, I've been to plenty of places before, whether it's been a picnic or a park or wherever, and there's just not enough cups. There's, there's not enough for things for me to drink. You can grab this thing and throw some water in it, some juice in it, have the ability to, you know, so instead of sticking your head on the side of a building, which I've done before in a flag football game to drink some water, grab this, put it underneath, you have a little bit of water source for that. Now these emergency blankets are not the best, but these emergency blankets are gonna be good for if you roll up on an emergency situation, someone needs your help, you wanna be able to give them emergency blankets. This is the type you just give off to a, a, a accident scene. You don't have to concern yourself about it not being the best one ever. Another one of these cups, a, a cigar cutter, because you guys do know I smoke sticks. We do have some waterproof matches that are in here. I keep them in here with some actual tinder as well so we can start a fire and extra strikers just in case this striker is not functioning on the outside of this thing with a little bit of wood tinder. So very, very capable uh, kit. This is stormproof matches, so they're good for if they fall into water. This is a flashlight that I would take with me if I needed to walk up to someone's vehicle and help them with an inspection. More lumens in this other one, more capable, bigger battery. Uh, so I like this one a lot more. This is a super loud whistle. It's not as loud as the Acme uh, emergency whistle, but this is a storm whistle. You can hear this, especially in type of emergency situations. Uh, and I like the fact that it puts out plenty of, uh, plenty of sound and hand it to my kids. They're gonna know how to use this thing pretty easily. All right, so let's talk about the tertiary section of the vehicle. I'm losing light, so we're gonna finish this as fast as possible. So i would used the diamond back cover. I've done a videos on this thing before. I'm gonna probably do more videos on this thing. Fantastic cover, I like this thing. I do have the textured version. Also have their headache rack that I picked up a couple years ago. I need to do a two year review on this thing. I have plenty of thoughts on this cover. The diamond back covers, pretty fantastic because you know I can store stuff underneath here I do have rail systems so whenever I put a boom stick or anything like that I can put them into those quick fists and then the bed of my truck is usually relatively pretty clean and pretty cleared out let's start off by talking about what we keep over here on the right side so also from built right industries we do have their very large 
This is their Molly pouch. All right, so over here, I actually just keep a, a recovery strap just in case I need that to recover another vehicle or to recover myself out. And that makes life a lot easier as well because uh, some actual RE patches. I do keep a utility knife by Spec Ops, fantastic company. Uh, fire extinguisher, super important. Never know when you're gonna need one, whether it's for your vehicle, for someone else's vehicle, you roll up on a scene. You might wanna have that just in case. All right, so we do keep this net divider, which is kind of fantastic. If you own a truck, you need to get a net divider. That's gonna keep your groceries from going crazy all in the bed of your truck. Let me move this out the way. And it just drops down really easily. Next to that, I do keep my actual Fisker's axe. Comes in handy, just used it recently at my mother-in-law's house. Chop down branches, you know, it's an axe, you chop stuff, but it's nice and neat. On my Built Right Industries Molly system, I've done an entire video on the installation of this thing. I need to do an updated video to talk about my thoughts because it's been up for over a year now. So we'll talk about that. The very, very back, we actually have my that's my get home bag. So I've done a video on that. Uh, I'll link that up down below. So that that stays in handy just in case I need to grab that and go. We keep an empty gas can just in case I run out of gas. Someone else runs out of gas. Even when it has gas in there, you can't smell it. Sure can. I've done a video on them. They're fantastic. One of the best, easiest gas cans. I know I can get a slimmer one, but who cares? All right. So back here we have my truck toolkit. I've done an entire video on that. I'll link that up down below. Mostly I'll go to someone else's house, be able to have the tools I need or tools to do some quick maintenance underneath my vehicle. All that stuff is in there. We do keep some additional uh, to uh, straps just in case I need to use straps. I need to put that back onto my Molly panel, but that's what I use to hold stuff down on top of my actual diamond back or back here. If it's some large item, I keep a couple of walkie talkies back here. You never know when you need to communicate. I mostly use those when hunting, but uh, those are always there, always charged, ready to go. A bottle jack. Now that's not quite tall enough to lift my truck. I do have to use that in combination with cinder blocks or something like that. On the ground, it won't get my tires completely off the ground high enough so that I can change them or do any type of repairs, but I'd rather have it. Last item we do keep on this side is my actual vehicle emergency kit. I've shown both of these kits before and I've talked about this before, but these kits, are, this Pelican case, they unsnap and while they're mounted in place, I can open them and access anything in my emergency kit and they're actually mounted on my Built Right Industries cover, both the tool kit in the emergency kit they don't go anywhere that is my favorite part of these pelican bx50 and bx80 cases that's why they went out over the rome case and so i don't know if i'll be able to get rid of those because they're just so fantastic next to that is a trauma medical kit so the trauma medical kit is for uh swat tourniquets so sunken chest wounds right underneath that is an actual tourniquet itself so if I roll up on a scene or if I'm in some type of trouble, I do have both of those emergency kits. Also in the bed of the truck, which is just gonna be a new addition. I always have Gerber E-Tools, which Gerber's fantastic company, but this is just a, a glorified shovel. I have one of these in my family bug out bag. I went ahead and bought another one so that I can add it to the Molly panel of this truck. So that's gonna be a new addition here. All right, so that's it. That is my vehicle EDC for 2023. I think a lot more comprehensive than the 2021 tour. Over 250 items still, but I love the fact that it is primary, secondary, tertiary. I know where every single one of those 250 items is at any given moment. From the window marker to the emergency kit in the back, it's in the survival kit or tool kit, I can tell you at a drop of a hat. Comment down below. Let me know what am I missing? Should I pound sand? Do you think you know something a little bit better than what I have? I would love to know with your comments. Also, if this is your first time stopping by, hit the link down below. Go check out the merch, man. Maybe you can get some EDC stuff or man cave stuff, different items on the marinex.com that might be interesting for you. If this is not your first time stopping by, thank you once again for watching me run my grape. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button, like this video, share it with somebody because they may need some ideas for their vehicles as well. We will speak soon.